But he finally got the strength coming out to the entire soccer world in a letter he posted online. For the past 25 years, I've been afraid, afraid to show whom I really was because of fear, fear that judgment and rejection would hold me back from my dreams and aspirations. And with that, Robbie didn't just come out. He also walked away from professional soccer. He says after all those years of living in the shadows, he needed time to figure things out. And what were their reactions? I mean, they were just, wait, so you're going to step away from soccer? <laughs> like, why? But while his teammates have all been supportive, those close to him had another concern. I believe it was your coach who said your teammates were great, but he did perhaps have concern about fans. I think especially in Europe, you know, they try to get under your skin. And I think if I go back, I'll have to be, you know, very mentally strong and worry about, you know, the actual sport. It's just the atmosphere of, of sports, you know, it's that, you know, macho, macho men mentality. But there have I mean, to be I, more I, male gay Oh, athletes. yes, yeah, of course. I mean, there's hundreds, thousands, I'm sure. What do you hope can change based on your announcement? Because right now, if you do go back and play, you would be the only openly gay male footballer, soccer player. Gay athletes are athletes. If I go back to soccer, I want to go back to soccer as as Robbie, as a soccer player. I don't want to go back as this, uh, this gay athlete. I love the sport and uh, I love being an athlete, so I just want it to be that simple.